It's been roughly 8 months since I've been using the OnePlus 3 and with the coming of the new OnePlus 5, it has been discontinued by OnePlus, which is kind of a bummer. But nevertheless, just wanted to make a video on my experience with this phone and how it has been holding up so far. So without any further ado, let's get started. So back then, with the launch of the OnePlus 3, OnePlus has switched to metal ditching the unique sandstone they were known for. But I do prefer metal over sandstone just in terms of the feel in hand and looks. Over the past 8 months, it's very rare that I have used my phone without a case, but I did drop it once without a case and there's a visible dent there. Apart from that, the metal is still holding up quite well. And a quick look on the display, it's 1080p, AMOLED, 5.5 inches. The blacks are really black and you get the bright vivid colors of an AMOLED display. The fingerprint scanner is made up of ceramic and is one of the fastest and most reliable fingerprint scanner I have used. It's quick and accurate. The buttons are tactile and the alert slider is something I wish every phone had. It just allows you to quickly toggle your phone to silent and is really convenient for everyone in probably most situations. The performance is something that OnePlus devices have been known for and it hasn't been disappointing. The Snapdragon 820 with 6GB of RAM is still a powerhouse for the most demanding tasks and is very rarest of the times that the device lags. I'm really happy with the update cycle of the OnePlus 3 and it's running on Android version 7.1.1 with Oxygen OS 4.1.6 right now. Oxygen OS is pretty close to stock Android with some tricks up its sleeve. But I use Nova Launcher most of the time and changing my setup very often. Just hoping OnePlus doesn't ignore the OnePlus 3 in terms of updates like it did with the OnePlus 2 and X. And finally coming to the cameras, not going to go super in depth as everyone probably know about it by now. So the rear shooter is 16 megapixels with OIS and an 8 megapixel front shooter. The 16 megapixel shooter is pretty great with decent dynamic range and ample sharpness. The camera doesn't bother me at all as I use apps like Snapseed and Visco to edit pictures. The low lighting and video performance could have been better but I can't ask for more at the price I paid for this phone. The speaker gets reasonably loud and the audio from the headphone jack is really good. And powering the OnePlus 3 is a 3000mAh battery. I'm a pretty heavy user and the battery life is decent. It lasts me about a typical day and the dash charger makes up for the mediocre battery life. The dash charger charges my phone in about an hour which is very impressive. So is it worth buying the phone in 2017? No, as I said before, because it's discontinued. But you should definitely consider the OnePlus 3T if you are on a really tight budget which has a larger battery, 16 megapixel front shooter and a Snapdragon 821. You can also pick a used one for as low as 23,000. Or you can ditch all of this and just go with the Xiaomi or a Huawei phone. And so that's about it. Thank you for watching and this is Sam signing off.